कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे रॉक स्टार के पुपे की गांड पड़ गई लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन टुडे वी गोट टॉक अबाउट जी टी एस एक्स इट्स बिन अ मिनट सिंस वी टॉक्ट अबाउट अ राइट एंड नाउ वी गोट लाइक मोर न्यूज मोर लीक्स वी गोट टॉक अबाउट द गेम प्ले द ट्रेलर टू द लूसिया बुरा एंड ऑल दे राइट एंड वर ऑल्सो गोट टॉक अबाउट द टेक्नोलॉजी इज दिस गोना बी अ मैसिव गेम इज दिस गोना बी द रेवोल्यूशन इज दिस गोना रिवाइव गेमिंग We're gonna get down to it. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for five likes on the video, guys. And uh, shout out to the homie Inter. Check this. This is something that's actually engaging. If GTA 6 is going to push the series forward, Rockstar needs to rethink how they design their missions. One thing they need more of is interior shootouts. Remember the intensity okay. of storming a building in GTA 4, or some of the rare interior battles in GTA. How many of you guys played GTA 4? This game legendary. And at one point, we heard that they were remastering. IGN also reported on it, and they said that they are they are putting it aside because they want to finish GTA 6, which is good. But I would love to see GTA 4 remastered right after GTA 6. Like the video if you agree, man. But. A5, the close quarters combat, navigating tight hallways, taking cover, and using strategy to defeat enemies, that's the kind of gameplay that feels immersive and rewarding. Rockstar already has the tools to create some truly incredible set pieces. We've seen them do it in Red Dead Redemption 2. Think about yeah. how varied the missions were there, with different mechanics and approaches. Why not bring that level of depth into GTA 6? they very well might because this was their last game so i'm assuming like there's going to be some uh, uh, like they have learned a lot right probably from this game so they're going to bring some of those good good aspects to gta 6 i think they would they would personally i have not finished red dead redemption 2 i only have one hour into it i i just not i'm just not finding time but how many of you guys finished it Imagine more bank heists, mall shootouts, or high-speed chases that end inside a crumbling warehouse where you have to fight your way out through waves of enemies. One of the standout missions from GTA 5 was the Polito score, where the crew storms a small town bank and you have to blast your way mm. out against waves of police, SWAT teams, and even a tank. It was high stakes, chaotic. Yo, we need like missions like that on God in GTA 6. We need like bigger missions like that. And let's be real, how many highs you guys think we're going to have in this game gta 5 i'm not sure how many it did i believe it had five or six highs right it, it but it had like different kind of missions that were also very good very big so i want to see like different kind of missions big as well i also do want to see a lot more highs as well in gta 6 uh yeah I, in my honest opinion i love gta 5 single player though i i, I played it Uh, I replayed it a year ago at this point if you like and I still love it. it 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 holds up to this day GTA 5 honestly man from a story standpoint not talking about online still holds up to this day bro absolutely thrilling but how often did we get missions like that compared to the endless drive here shoot them and leave quests and let's not forget how much the interiors can add to the atmosphere exploring these environments yeah, yeah. adds so much to the immersion and it's a shame rockstar doesn't use them more imagine how much richer the state of leonida would feel if there were more interior environments designed for combat and exploration rather than just endless roads and outdoor shootouts the key i, I don't disagree and right now the leaks are saying 70% of the buildings are going to be explorable I I say cap on that one. I think we would need PlayStation 10. And to be fair though, like GTA 6, we're hearing that the map is going to be huge, right? It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. And after all, the Lucia Bruna needs like a bigger map to navigate around, man. Like damn, bro, what are we talking about? Like bigger Bruna requires a bigger place to maneuver around, right? Like so yeah, the bigger the Bruna, the bigger the map. But we're still hearing it's going to be 1.5 times bigger. So it's not going to be that big, but it's going to be big. It's not going to be 1.5 times bigger than GTA 5 map. But if it's dense because you guys got to understand that right like GTA 5 map is big but there are like a lot of areas where there's nothing going on. So if GTA 6 map is dense all the way through or perhaps like 80% of the way through or 70 even uh, it's going to be good. I think it's going to feel big. I think I I'm just hoping for a good game, bro. I'm simple as that. Like the video if you agree, bro. He hears Simple. variety. Simple. Yes, keep some driving missions, but don't let them dominate. The map will naturally get explored over time. There's no need to shove that mechanic down our throats with repetitive missions. Mixing yeah, yeah. more interiors, more multi-stage heists, and scenarios that require players to think on their feet. By adding all of these, Rockstar can make GTA 6's missions something that players look forward to rather than dread. It may sound stupid, but I feel like this should be on the list. GTA 6 doesn't need to run for 11 years like GTA 5. <laughs> that game has been a monumental success yeah. and it's hard to argue Oh bro like this like is gonna run it to the ground man these gonna this like is gonna milk it to the point where we got to wait 20 years for the next one I think this is it this game that's it oh shit oh shit I think it's it this is over man like after this game <laughs> man I think we're gonna be waiting crazy amount of years but realistically I hope that we get a new GTA game every like 5 years but the way it's going right now Rockstar makes every game after like 6 7 years or 5 years minimum right so after GTA 6 i think they're going to work on another game 
perhaps RDR3 or perhaps another game. I hope it's like another game. I hope for a new IP or Eleanor 2. That's what I hope for. Let me know what you about you that. Want but seriously, but... 11 years? That's way too long for any game to dominate the scene. Yes, the yeah, content yeah, updates, yeah. the online mode, and the modding community have all added longevity. But do we really need another GTA that spans more than a decade? Sure, no. Rockstar has been excellent no. at keeping GTA Online alive with constant updates, new features, vehicles, heists, and more. But what about the single player? Let's not forget that when GTA 5 launched, Rockstar promised us single player DLCs. Yeah. You might be wondering. And, and leaks happened and it was discovered like uh, I believe a couple of months ago in the code that they were planning to have like eight different DLCs for single player, but they canceled ultimately because they realized money. The power of the money, ladies and gentlemen, the power of the money. They realized that if they have those DLCs for online, they're gonna make a lot more money. So that's where we at. That's where we had. Where did those go? As far as we can tell, they were scrapped because of GTA Online. The success yep. of the online mode made Rockstar pivot completely away from the single-player content that so many of us were waiting for. It's frustrating because the potential for additional stories was massive. There were leaks and rumors about expansions that could have brought us more of Franklin, Michael, and Trevor. More heists, yeah. more chaos, more character arcs to explore. Instead, Rockstar funneled all their resources into online updates, and the single- I, I truly do believe that GTA 6, or I hope at least, uh, that GTA 6 got a lot more going on in the world. And- you know, GTA and Rockstar, they are very, they love the idea of the UFOs and all that and having Easter eggs. We have them in GTA 5, we have them in RDR 2 is what I heard, I have not played the, I have not finished the game, right? But I hope like we got that crap in GTA 6 too, because like there have been some UFO activity, a lot of activity in Florida, so I really hope they do that. And if you guys are into UFO and conspiracies, I got a second channel, man! I got a second channel. Check out the second channel after this video, guys. It's called Scary X. Uh, we upload mostly every other day on there. If you're into that content, I would love to have you there, all right? Like, this video especially, man, it is crazy, bro. Like, yeah, so definitely check it out afterwards. But wait for it. Single player mode wait was left it. in the dust. And let's be real here. There's a huge chunk of the community that prefers single player experiences. But Rockstar saw the money in microtransactions and shark cards. And that's where the focus shifted. Every new Sadly. update, every new piece of content was designed to keep the online world alive. While single player players got nothing. The single player yeah. mode remained untouched. While online thrived with ridiculous vehicles, out of place futuristic weapons, and content that felt less and less like classic GTA. This brings us to GTA 6. If Rockstar... I don't know about you, but like GTA 6, on, uh, GTA 5 Online is actually ver very good. It was very, very good, I would say, like for the first few years. But after that, a uh, first couple of years, not few years, because it's been a dozen years, almost going to be a dozen years or more than a decade. Let's just say that way. But GTA Online right now, it's like really boring. Maybe not to you, but it's really boring, man. I, I wish we had like more stuff for single player, absolutely. Or wants to extend the life of the upcoming game like they did with 5, they need to do it differently. First, no more abandoning the single player. If they want to add years of longevity to the game, fine, but give us more story content too. Keep developing the world of the game with rich narrative expansions that take the characters to new places. Don't just milk mm -hmm. online for all it's worthwhile leaving the core fans out in the cold. And let's talk about the 11 year gap itself. It's time for Rockstar to get realistic about their release cycle. We know game development is more complex now, and creating a GTA title is a massive undertaking, but stretching it out for over a decade? Come Come on. In 11 yeah. years, entire franchises have risen and fallen, new genres have emerged, and technology has evolved a lot. If Rockstar wants to keep the franchise... F yeah, especially like, uh, okay, this trailer gives me the, I believe this is one of the Assassin's Creed trailer, right? And seeing like what's happening with the Assassin's Creed, I mean, he's not wrong, risen and fallen, right? The only thing that comes to my mind is the Assassin's Creed, man. You know, with, like, with the BBC Samurai situation in Assassin's Creed, the game, they are now delaying the game and issuing refunds. They are giving refunds to people right now. Crazy stories, man, and the gaming industry is wild right now. Fresh and innovative. They need to aim for something more reasonable, like five to six years between titles. The world of gaming moves I fast, agree. and if Rockstar isn't careful, they'll risk falling behind while holding on to the past. Instead of giving us one game that lasts over a decade, give us more games that evolve with the times. Next up is something that's been worrying a lot. Gen genuinely, I hope like we get a new Rockstar game. Doesn't have to be GTA, of course, but a new Rockstar game every three years. I guess, realistically, we're probably gonna get it, like, every five years, but nah, man, like, three years, come on, man, a new game, or, okay, four years. But if every five years we have, like, a banger, a banger, then understandable, but still, like, I want more, because back in the days, they were turning the games around fast, but I get it, like, we had different technology, or we didn't have that much technology then, but the point here is that expectations have risen i i agree expectations are rising gamers are demanding more absolutely and 
as we should, as gamers should, but also technology has advanced to the point where they can turn around crap faster too. So yes, people are asking for more, but so is the technology advanced to the point where they can cater for more. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like AI, with the help of AI, they're using AI right now. And, and computers, graphics card technology have advanced, CPUs have advanced. So yeah, uh, and, and they got more devs working on projects more than ever. So yeah, they should turn the games around a little bit faster. I mean, a decade is way too long, dog. A decade is way too long for a GTA game. I believe uh, Red Dead Redemption came out like when? 2018, right? And we're like 2024, this year is almost over. So how many years we're talking about? Six years already, guys. Six years. And GTA 6 is supposed to come out by the end of next year. So by the time this game comes out, it's gonna be seven year gap between Red Dead Redemption, which was their last game, RDR2, and GTA 6 seven years and god forbids if the game gets delayed then it's gonna be another one you know what I mean and already there are rumors which are false is what we're hearing but I mean come on now we're talking rockstar games these seconds can delay it these seconds can delay it and yes this is what happened I, I wanted to bring this meme up earlier rockstar making a game about stealing shies from people happy <laughs> or I should say happy right happy rockstar when somebody actually steals shies from them this uh, meme was relevant and it still is relevant because it happened, you know what happened back in September of 2022? That was two years ago! Yes, the first leak where we saw like the Lucia Burra getting leaked out, the, the gameplay, the 90 plus gameplay videos for GTA 6. That was all the way back in September of 2022. It's been two years since then, damn it. And we're getting closer to one year mark since we've seen the first ever GTA 6 trailer. Let that sink in. We getting older, guys. We getting older by the day. A lot of longtime GTA fans, myself included, the fear that Rockstar might try to modernize GTA 6 for a new, broader audience. And if there's one thing we don't need, it's Grand Theft Auto losing its edge in the name of appealing to everyone. We've also yeah, like uh, oh man, I hope they don't do it for the broader audience or the modern audience or all these like terms that are being thrown around in gaming. Damn, man. Seen the leaks in the first trailer. And while we don't know too much about the story yet, there's this lingering concern that Rockstar might soften things up to avoid controversy. I get it. It's 2024. Things have changed. People are more sensitive to certain topics, and game companies are more cautious about offending anyone. But this is Grand Theft Auto we're talking about. <laughs> this series was built on pushing boundaries, on being gritty, vulgar, and unapologetically funny. To strip yeah, that away yeah, in an yeah. attempt to modernize it would be to strip away what makes GTA special in the first place. Look, Absolutely. I know some people are going to say, it's not 2004 or 2013 anymore. You can't get away with the same edgy, boring borderline offensive stuff that GTA Bruh. used to thrive on. And yes, get get mama with that, man. Just make a good product. Just yeah, it's it's a GTA game, man. It's not real life. Yeah, like what the hell? Have N words, N bombs in there, F bombs there. Like have all of that, bro the world has changed, but should GTA really be about catering to those changes? If you're going to neuter the series to the point where it's afraid to offend, then don't even call it GTA. Yeah, one, one of the funniest scenes was with like, you know, the chemistry that we saw with, I, I'm assuming like you already can picture it in your mind, right? When, uh, you know, Tyrone, uh, Franklin, Franklin is talking with, uh, I forgot his name, Lamar, Lamar, yeah, you know when Franklin and Lamar are talking, the chemistry was just amazing, now imagine they remove all of that, imagine they remove like the n-word from that conversation, you know when he says a yee yee ass haircut, then Seka, I'm not gonna say the n-word obviously, but like, you, you know what I mean, right, like, it was hilarious, it was funny, people loved it, gamers loved it, now if they remove stuff like that, you could imagine, right, we're gonna get a watered down version then anymore. The franchise is synonymous with being a satirical take on society, with all its absurdities and flaws exposed in a no-holds-barred fashion. If GTA 6 loses that, it won't just feel like a watered-down version of the franchise, it'll feel like a completely Bruh. different game. Let's not forget what happened with the Saints Row reboot. The original Saints Row games were unashamedly crass, pushing the envelope with ridiculous humor. But the reboot? It was an absolute mess, trying yeah. so hard to appeal to a modern audience that it ended up alienating the core fans who yeah. loved it for being outrageous. The result- and, and see, like, I was, like, hoping that this game would carry me till GTA 6. It couldn't even carry us till the first GTA 6 teaser. And they ultimately had to shut down their studio, bro. Like, damn, man. Like, why y'all suckers did that, bro? Like, damn, man. Why do that, man? Just make the games for gamers, man. You're making games. So make it for gamers. Because that's your target audience. Bro, like, come on now, man.
Zolt was a game that felt bland, safe, and frankly, out of touch with what made it popular in the first place. GTA 6 doesn't need to follow that same path. Imagine a GTA that plays it safe, where the humor is toned down to avoid any potential backlash, and where the characters feel like they've been sanitized to the point of being unrecognizable. It wouldn't be Grand Theft Auto. It would be something else entirely. If Rockstar waters down the content to appease a modern audience, it would be Larry Taft Auto at that point. They risk losing the very identity of the franchise. Sure, people might complain if GTA 6 dares to push boundaries the way its predecessors did. But guess what? People have always complained about GTA. There was outcry in the early 2000s with GTA 3 and Vice City. The media had... And, and there always will be. And when they revealed the GTA 6 trailer, because like it, look, it felt like Bornastan get... Have Auto. <laughs> That's what people, I mean, people were, gamers were jokingly memeing, and I was saying that too, but it was like jokes, right? But then you, you saw like Twitter blowing up, journalists demanding for, hey, there's like cancel this game, bro. Like, hey, we need to cancel this game. This game is not good for kids. I agree, it's not good for kids, but guess what? Guess what, motherfucker? This game is rated M for mature. This game kids are not supposed to play this of course kids are gonna play it if you're a parent watching this video and you think it's fine for you your kid to play hey okay fair but like let's what are we talking about the game is rated m for a reason like stop stop with that man stop with that bro so yeah already people are trying to cancel and guess what guess what let's just put it this way right if rockstar games cater to broader audience or the modern audience and they water down their game they're still gonna see people mad about their games people are gonna rage on the game people are gonna have articles or youtube videos and comment section yes so there will always be complaining now you can choose the side of gamers and because you're making a video game so have this game be made for gamers right or you can go for modern audience or broader audience whatever these terms <laughs> we got crazy terms nowadays you can go for that and then you're gonna lose your audience the the gamers right you're gonna please the the five percent and lose the 95 percent yes if you make the game for gamers and you don't water it down yes we're gonna see these articles but f all like f these suckers man f these suckers they're just gonna boost your game even more and gamers gonna respect you even more and gamers gonna buy your game even more because uh see what happened with hogwarts legacy yeah exactly like it sold even more when they try to cancel it had a field day with San Andreas and its infamous hot coffee mod. Even GTA 5 wasn't safe from controversy, with people calling out everything from its violent themes to its treatment of certain groups. But that didn't stop those games from becoming some of the most successful and beloved titles in gaming history. In fact, the controversy helped build the legend of the series. At the end yeah. of the day, GTA is a satire. It's supposed to make people uncomfortable at times, facts, and it's facts, supposed facts, to push facts, buttons. Facts, facts. And if GTA 6 tries to tone down the satire in an attempt to be more inclusive or less offensive, it's gonna lose that razor-sharp edge that defines it. Another thing we don't need in the upcoming game is turning it into a full-blown life simulation. Simulator. I made a video about it a few weeks ago, so I'ma keep it short. If Rockstar goes too far down the road of realism, the game could end up feeling more like a chore than a playground for chaos. Look, we all loved the RPG elements from San Andreas. Working out at the gym to bulk yeah, up CJ, yeah, yeah. gaining weight if you ate too much <laughs> junk food, or even learning martial arts moves. Yo, like, that was honestly crazy. Okay, I did not know you could do martial arts. That's holy crap. And I played this game all my life. That is what the hell. Or I must have actually went to it, like, I, I just don't remember. But that's crazy. Yo, honestly, San Andreas was light years ahead. Especially for the time when it came out, this game was just a crazy life simulator, bro. Moves. They gave us more control over CJ's appearance and abilities, but crucially, they didn't demand constant attention. You could go to the gym or grab a bite to eat when you felt like it, but the game wasn't constantly breathing down your neck, forcing you to keep up with daily routines. That's yeah, the key yeah. difference. San yeah, Andreas yeah. struck a balance. You weren't being forced to manage every aspect of CJ's life. Yes, you had to eat occasionally, but you weren't shoveling food into his mouth every in-game day just to keep his energy up. It was a system that added de Or you could have used, like, cheat codes in the game too, right? And you wouldn't need to go eat food, or you could have done that. Now, it, honestly, I love GTA San Andreas. I love this game. It's some. It was a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Of course, like, it's it hasn't kept up with times graphically, but in a lot of these aspects, it there's no competition even to this day like it, this is a this is a crazy game it was a crazy one depth without becoming intrusive now compare that to gta 5 which stripped away many of those rpg elements entirely no yeah. more managing your character's physique or stamina which took away some of that personal connection and progression while gta 5 streamlined the experience i think rockstar went too far in the opposite direction but what we definitely don't need in gta 6 is rockstar overcompensating by adding too much realism i'm all for rpg elements making a return letting us customize and build up our character in meaningful ways but it has to be handled with care if they turn gta 6 into a full-fledged life simulator where we're not only managing 
managing hunger and stamina but things like paying rent or charging electric cars, that's going to suck the fun right out of the game. We play GTA to escape reality. It's about chaos, freedom, and being able to do things that would never fly in the real world. If Rock Now, I would not mind like a realistic mod for it. Oh, uh, realistic mods are gonna be there, okay? What I mean to say, I wouldn't mind a realistic mode where there is whatever he's saying is uh, like a thing in the game, right? But generally speaking, if they do that, yeah, like the game is not gonna be too fun then. Rockstar leans too hard into simulating real life, then where's the escape? Where's the fun? If I wanted to worry about gas prices or getting stuck in traffic, I'd go for a drive in real life. In GTA, I want to run red lights without consequence, outrun the cops in a sports car, and cause mayhem without having to stress about filling yeah, up a gas yeah, tank yeah. every 20 minutes. And don't get me started on some of the crazier ideas fans have had. People have suggested everything from ultra-realistic car damage physics to the inclusion of mundane tasks like cooking meals, paying taxes, and attending classes to unlock <laughs> new skills. I mean, come Bro. on, this is Grand Theft Auto, not The Sims. Sure, games yeah. like Red Dead Redemption 2 manage to pull off realism in a subtle and engaging way because like it's uh it has it's different it's different and it's supposed to be different but even then the demands of keeping arthur fed rested and clean could feel like too much at times in a fast-paced world like gta it would just feel out of place there's a fine line between realism that enhances the gameplay and realism that bogs it down yes yeah, we want yeah, yeah. gta 6 to feel immersive and yes there should be rpg elements that let us customize our characters and their abilities but we don't want to be constantly managing a laundry list of real life problems while we're supposed to be stealing cars and taking over the city next thing we definitely don't need in the upcoming game is that boring overly safe traffic system we had in gta 5. sure the cars in 5 technically followed the traffic laws and occasionally or had random police chases. But let's be real. Driving through Los Santos felt way too tame most of the time. And in GTA, that's just not what we're looking for. The streets should feel alive, chaotic, and unpredictable. See, it's not about making the game unrealistic. The problem with GTA 5's traffic wasn't that it was too real. It's that it didn't capture the messiness and... Uh, and also another thing is that, like, in the trailer, I remember when they released GTA 4 Next Gen trailer, there were a lot of traffics. Uh, a lot of traffic, a lot of NPCs. Uh, maybe not NPCs, but in GTA 6 trailer, a lot of NPCs, we see a lot of cars. Now, it's true, if they put a lot of cars, then the gameplay is not going to be fun, right? I really hope there's a slider for NPC and uh, traffic density. So you can up it or down it, depending on how many cars you're seeing on the road. Because the way GTA 5 is, uh, at times, if the roads are completely empty, and I'm losing my voice right now. It, it feels empty, and it just doesn't feel that fun to play at times, right? I hope they improve on that, but guys... Whatever you do, do not watch this video. Do not watch this video. Insane drama that went down, man, like with the ghost of Yoda, ghost of tampon situation, right? Insane drama in the video games uh, <laughs> sphere. Don't watch this video. Check out the video on the left. I'll see you right there.